query the data in Amazon S3 data lake from Amazon Redshift by writing queries using the Amazon Redshift spectrum capability. However, many of our customers, they want to export the data from Amazon Redshift data warehouse to the data lake, to S3, to close the loop so that they can use the data with other uh, services in the Amazon S3 data lake, such as Amazon Athena or EMR or Spark or Hive. And they want to export this data in um, Apache Parquet format. So Apache Parquet is a very open, popular open source format that is used by many, many uh, products. We provide ability to export this command using the onload command. And what I'm going to do is a quick demonstration of how you can use the data lake export capability of Amazon Redshift. As you can see here, this is the new query editor. The query editor allows you to browse different schemas of your um, Redshift uh, data warehouse. As you can see here, I have a schema called S3. The S3 schema is actually has the tables, the external table, and the data is in, in S3. I can actually view preview the data for uh, using the like a normal table. As you can see, I have normal table, or else I can query the data. So assume that I am trying to join a table uh, that S3 sales table is an S3. The data is in S3, and and then I have this event uh, table that is in uh, Amazon Redshift. So I want to join this table and run some queries. Let's take a look. And when I, I click run, it's going to execute the query and give me uh, the data. As you see here, I have, I'm looking at the top 10 rows. That means I'm looking at the top 10 events uh, by, by sales. And, and this kind of helps me demonstrate how you can use the data lake capability of Amazon Redshift. You can um, actually visually analyze this data in here too. But main capability that we introduced at Amazon, um, sorry, the capability that we introduced at AWS reInvent is ability to export your data. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can export your data using the onload command. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is that I am uh, exporting the data from the sales table, which are a little bit older, like data ID is less than minus 1970. So, and, and then I am exporting this to this bucket in my S3, uh, Amazon S3, and I'm using uh, exporting this data in a parquet format. And Amazon Redshift allows you to partition the data by date ID. And you have to provide your IAM credentials. So, and, and then I can do run this command. Uh, let's say I want to do sales three, and I'll, I'll run this command. So when you run this command, what is it doing is that it is going to export the data into Amazon uh, S3. So let me look at my Amazon S3 console. So if you see here, it already created a S3 folder and a, a, sorry, a sales three folder. And you see this, it also created the file uh, folder and it actually has the partition ID 1827. That was a quick demo of uh, data lake capability.